and welcome back to Cooking with Crew. Today we're going to be whipping up a simple and quick dish that's also incredibly impressive. We're going to be doing a steak with a compound butter and a beautiful corn salad with a side of crispy potatoes. I hope you guys enjoy this dish. Let's get started. To get started, we're going to preheat our oven to 375 degrees. To prep the potatoes, it's very simple. We're gonna use about two tablespoons of crew olive oil and coat the potatoes well, and then use about four tablespoons of the crew Cabernet Sauvignon spice. Go ahead and mix that up well in a bowl, and we're gonna put that on a cooking sheet and bake it for about 30 minutes or until it's golden brown. compound butter you can really use anything you'd like. I'm going to use a couple different ingredients to make our compound butter today. You're going to need about one cup of room temperature butter. I'm going to be chopping up some fresh garlic. I've chopped up a little bit of parsley to garnish at the end. I'm going to use about one fourth cup of our Cru Cabernet spice. To prepare your compound butter, use a standing mixer or any kind of mixer that you have at home. I'm going to be throwing in the butter and mixing it for about one minute just to get it smooth. Then I'm going to be throwing in one fourth cup of our Cru Cabernet Spice and garlic. Mix that on medium until everything has been well incorporated. Then we're going to be pulling this out and refrigerating it to get it nice and hard. Once your butter and seasonings have been well mixed, grab some parchment paper and add all the butter to the parchment paper. You're gonna to wanna to do this pretty quickly so the butter doesn't start to get super soft, otherwise it's really hard to work with. Keep working the butter until it's in your desired shape. I'm gonna be cutting mine into little medallions and putting them on top of our cooked steak, but you can really put this into any shape you'd like. Once you have it all incorporated onto the parchment paper, go ahead and put it in the refrigerator for 30 minutes. While that's cooling, let's get our steaks marinated. I'm gonna be using just a pinch of salt. I'm gonna coat each side with our Cru Cabernet Sauvignon Spice. I'm gonna let that sit for about 20 minutes while I prepare our salad. For our corn salad, we're gonna be using some fresh ingredients like corn, onions, jalapenos, cilantro, and black beans. In a pan, add about two tablespoons of Cru olive oil. We're gonna cook the corn for a little bit just to get some toasty flavors on it. While that's cooking, let's incorporate all of our other ingredients to our salad. I'm gonna chop up some cilantro. I've already prepared the black beans in a nice bowl that's easy for mixing. When you go to use your jalapeno, make sure it's not spicy. We want more of the bell peppery flavors that jalapenos have and less of the spice. Once you have everything mixed together, we're gonna dress the salad. I decided to go with the Cru Sauvignon Blanc spice for the brightness in the lime peel and lemon verbena, and I thought the green peppercorn would go really well with this dish. Go ahead and add about two tablespoons of our Cru olive oil and two tablespoons of red wine vinegar. Once you have all of that mixed together, we're gonna add our freshly cooked corn and set this dish aside so all of those wonderful flavors can get well mixed and incorporated. While our potatoes are still cooking, we're gonna get our steak started. Heat up about two tablespoons of Cru olive oil in a pan until it's nice and hot. Add your steaks in and cook for about five to seven minutes on each side. And now let's open some wine. Today we're gonna to be drinking the Vineyard 29 Estate Cabernet. After we shot this video, we actually tried this dish with the Aida Estate Cabernet and we all thought it was a little bit better. I think the acidity and tannic structure cuts into the fat of the meat and the compound better. But for today and for this video, we used the Estate Cabernet 
It's violet, black currants, brambly, blackberry, and cocoa powder jump out of the glass. The entry is full in mouth coating with black cassis, blackberry, and blueberry compote, and a hint of smoked meats with mocha. It was the perfect harmony between power and finesse. The 29 Estate Cabernet possesses some really rich and concentrated velvety texture, but also has the acidity and tannic structure to hold up to the butter and the um, steak fat. Everything is cooked, it's time to get dinner on the table. Go ahead and add your crispy potatoes and your perfectly cooled corn salad. I kept mine in the refrigerator so it gave a little bit of a lift because the steak and these potatoes can be a little bit heavy. And then I'm going to be getting out our compound butter which has been cooling for about 30 minutes. I'm going to cut mine into a medallion. How I like to use the compound butter is once you take the steak off of the skillet, immediately add your compound butter so that it melts over the top and really infuses those flavors into the steak. I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. We absolutely have to say this might be our favorite. If you want some more recipes on compound butters um, using our seasonings, I will post those down below and we hope that you guys enjoyed this. Until next time, cheers.